So now we have action movie. And by that I mean how close is this game to a Michael Bay action movie? Go figure. Um, so Battlefield Bad Company was the first actual Battlefield game to have a real single player campaign. Before that it was just bots on multiplayer maps. So it was not really, you know, a single player game at all. And since then, DICE has been improving it, but they have not perfected the formula. I mean, Bad Company 2 had a pretty good, um, multi I mean, a single player game, but it was not, you know, it was not phenomenal. The main draw was still the multiplayer game at the end. And so, what they have been trying to do is take, you know, some of that Modern Warfare, um, feel, make it a little more serious, make it a little more gritty, have a lot of explosions, and, um, as you can see, like, right there, talking about explosions, that is a big one right there. So, they are definitely taking steps in the right direction, they are adding cinematic flair, as you can see, the lighting, the cinematic lighting is always great and adds a fine touch to it. And so, yeah, so that is it for Battlefield 3. Now, let's look at Modern Warfare 3. Okay, so if there is one thing that the Modern Warfare 3 series has been become synonymous with except making a crap load of money is the fact that these games offer a ridiculously jaw-dropping single-player experience filled with set-piece moments that will blow your mind. And that is a fact. Every single Modern Warfare game, Modern Warfare 1 and 2, have had set pieces that have, you know, separated it from the crowd and made it a single-player campaign. Um, like, you know worth playing and it's a lot of fun playing through each of these campaigns um ever since call of duty 1 ever since the first call of duty it's all been about you know how much of a cinematic flair does each of these games have and by this point infinity ward has basically perfected its art to a science uh as you can see you know set piece moments like these where you're like going through new york and blowing up choppers while like missiles are flying at you it definitely you know urges that adrenaline rush that you feel and you you know it makes you feel like you know you're in this great action movie and you, you can do all these ridiculous things with like high production values and like watch this um you're basically fighting in this construction building and you're, um, you know, you see the whole New York skyline right there. I mean, just the, 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 the setting itself makes it feel so, so, like a movie, you can relate to it. I mean, it's, it's New York, it's everybody knows what New York is. And, you know, these settings, like, you know, we're chasing around a helicopter in this, um, around this building. It's these set pieces that really set it apart from the crowd and what have made the Modern Warfare series a huge blockbuster series. Um, you can expect every time a new Modern Warfare game comes out, um, you can expect some ridiculous event to happen in that from the Call of Duty 4's nuke to, you know, the invasion in America, the whole thing. Modern Warfare 2, you know, you walk out, you see the White House in flames. I mean, dang. And just look at this. You're like, you know, you're crashing out of this helicopter. Um, you know, you're about to crash. There's all those explosions going on down there. You see a barrel just fly at you. Barrel roll. Um, but yeah. Uh, these type of set piece moments really, you know, drive home that feeling of an action movie, and I think we all know who is gonna win in this category by this point. And let's just watch this video right here. Crash, crash, crash. Oh, do they survive? Do they survive? Yeah, they do. They level it out. All right. So in the action movie category, Modern Warfare 3 does take the win. Yep, right there. And so now we have Battlefield 3 with 3 bullets and Modern Warfare 3 with 2 bullets. So let's go into the final round strategy and let's see who will win. Will Battlefield 3 take out the win with a 4-2 or will Modern Warfare 3 equalize? Let's watch. Alright, so we're now down to our last category and that is strategy. Which game requires you to think more while you're playing it and requires tactics and effective maneuvering and you know teamwork actually coordinating your effort to win? And I chose this particular game for a game for a gameplay for Battlefield 3 because it showcased you know, you're moving from cover to cover as a squad and I'm pretty sure um, if one of those bullets hits you, you're pretty much dead. So it showcases, you know, I mean, most of the strategy is probably going to be in the multiplayer side, but as we have not been shown any multiplayer footage, I'd say I'd go with this. Um, but yeah, in the, in the multiplayer... Um, Dice has let us know that you know the squads are still remaining, so each person has their own individual role to play in the multiplayer game. And you know you have the medic, and you have the engineer, you have an assault, and each will play their own 
particular role. And, you know, one person's gonna blow up tanks, the other person's gonna revive your teammates, and, you know, so you, as a squad, and, yeah, the squad feature is back again in Battlefield 3 in case you did not know, um, you really need to coordinate the offensive, and, you know, you need to really have all the aspects down, and you need to know where you're going, and the squad respawn is another, uh, very strategic, um, feature in this game. Uh, where you actually have you respawn on your surviving squad mates. So what that does is basically the surviving squad mate. Like if all of your teammates are down, the surviving squad mate has to you know stay alive so you can retain the offensive element that you have made. Uh, you have received so far. Otherwise, basically all of your work up to that point, you know, basically is has no value. So Battlefield 3 does retain a strategic element. Um, from you know its predecessors and values teamwork over the lone man, lone wolf um type of gameplay uh, so yeah that is battlefield 3 and you see that was in a beautiful explosion all right so now for modern warfare 3 uh, in the multiplayer suite, Modern Warfare 3 is always, you know, it, it has its team games like Domination and, you know, to effectively beat um, high level teams like an MLG ladder, you always need to coordinate, but it doesn't have any set specific classes, so, you know, each person has their own little blend of classes, you can say, and there are no vehicles in the multiplayer like there are in Battlefield 3, so you don't need to blow up vehicles and that strategic element elements aren't there either. Um, but, you know, for Modern Warfare 3, the not having vehicles works pretty well, as we saw with the failure of vehicles in World at War. Um, but in the common multiplayer games, you do not usually require much. It's basically if you have one person on your team that is very, very good at, you know, what they do, and they, they have a really good skill set, and they can really wipe people up. Um, it basically means that sh they can carry your whole team through the game, and, you know, with even if your complete team is crap, you can still pull it out if there is that just one guy that is just dominating that team. Um, especially in Modern Warfare 2 with the tactical nuke, uh, if you just got a 25 kill streak, no matter what game it was, what game type it was, be it domination, demolition, team deathmatch, didn't really matter if the objective was getting kills or not, you would win that game if a person could get that particular kill streak. So yeah, that's it for Modern Warfare 3, and let's see who will win in this category. So the winner in the strategy category is Battlefield 3. With its deep squad element, we get a deeper level of appreciation for, you know, different, um, each part of your squad. And you all have to work as a cohesive all to pull off that victory. It's not about just about that one person who's very good at this game. So our winner today is... Product not yet rated. So guys, Battlefield 3 is the winner in this particular competition. Again, I want you guys to take away from this not the fact that Battlefield 3 won, but the fact that the categories that these games were two were judged in and which category suits you guys better. So if you guys like a more action-packed um, movie-like experience where you don't have to, you know, think too much about the game, Modern Warfare 3 is the game for you. Battlefield 3 is a more realistic depiction of war and for those all those, you know, strategy buffs and you know the realism buffs that is the game for them based on these categories battlefield 3 did win most of them in in most categories um so i hope you guys all appreciate this video and the amount of effort went into it um it took forever to make um so you know i'd love a like a favorite and a subscription from you guys um if you guys could and thank you for watching this video hope you guys all enjoyed it thank you goodbye